start selling online right away without building any complicated website. All you have to use is Jotform Store Builder to start selling online right now. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up everyone, my name is George and this is SaaS Master. And like I mentioned before, we're gonna get started building this store really quickly. So I'm on my Jotform dashboard and I'm gonna head on over to the top menu on the right and I'm gonna click on my apps and this will take me to the apps section. I'll have a list of all the apps that I've built previously. Now in this case, we're gonna create a brand new one. So let's click on create the app and I'm greeted with four options. Start from scratch and that means I'll have to add every single element and image, etc., to start from scratch. I can start with a template, which are pretty cool because it saves me a lot of time. It just adds colors, images, sections, and everything that's pretty cool. And you can add the store builder to it. I can add the build store option. So that means it's gonna start right off with the store and I can build at select the build one for me. That means I'll answer some questions and it'll build the store depending on what I need. Well, actually the app, okay? So let's go into build store for this demo. And this is gonna add the store element to this. Now, if I start from scratch or if I add a template and if I need to add the store builder, I'll click on product list and I'll add it to it. So this is a product list element, okay? So when I add this, this it already adds one of the products just to start off. So let's go ahead and edit this one right here. And I'll name this one t-shirt because I'll be selling t-shirts. All right, this is one t-shirt, $10, that's okay. Product description, we'll just say t-shirt um for gamers etc i'll change the image i'll upload it so i'll select this one there we go and we have the auto scale image option so if i remove it if it's a rectangle it'll keep a rectangle but in this case i'll keep it squared so all the images are squared i'll add another product and i'll just say this one is a free t-shirt okay and i'll just say free t-shirt i'll just say free for now upload an image i'll add that image there we go. Let's go back. Let's add one more really quickly. T-shirt three, and this one will be $60. And T-shirt four, SAS. Okay, choose an image. There we go. Let's go back. Okay, so we've added three products, but depending on the product that you add, well, you have different options for it, like colors, sizes. And in this case, T-shirts, well, there's a lot of sizes and there's a lot of colors. So how do we edit these? So each one of the products that we've added, there's a little option with a little pencil on it. I'll click on it and on the right, it says options. So I can add a quantity selector. So for example, the quantity selector, I can select from one to 10, the range, or if they start off at two pieces, four pieces, etc., you could set it the range to start off at three, four, five, and the amount that you want. And then we have the product options. So in this case, it's pretty cool because Jotform already added some pre options for it. For example, if you're using colors, you select it, and there's already some colors here. You can add more if you like or remove if you like. I'll just keep it as it is. I'll add another option because in t-shirts, we have sizes. So these are sizes are, that are already there. Now, if I don't use one of these sizes, I can just remove it and keep it, okay? So in this case, I'll keep it as it is. So if I've added some selections for this particular product. Again, I can go to the next one. If I like, let's go back. And I can add, for example, I'll add a quick option for this. I'll add colors to it, okay? There we go. Now, we've added our options. We added the products and the options. Now, how am I gonna get payments? Because remember, I'm building a store and I'm trying to sell something. So it's pretty easy, okay? I'm gonna click on this little green option right here, which is store settings, okay? And this will allow me to add the payment gateway. There we go. So now we have the store settings for the options and we're gonna be able to add our payment integration. So our payment gateway, let's click on it right here. And there's several options for payment gateways depending on the, the ones that you use or the country that you are at. In this case, I'll add a simple one, which is PayPal personal. I'll connect it to my PayPal. So I'll add the email there. And there we go, it's connected. There's advanced options if you want to, for example, authorization only, require shipment address. So for example, if you are selling products that need to be shipped, well, you might want to require that one, okay? I'll keep it off for now. The default, the checkout language, the IPN relay URL that you have to set on um, PayPal, the pending payments email, redirect email, checkout logo, etc. So let me go ahead and save this. There we go, let's go ahead and close it. Our payment gateway is connected now. You can use Express Checkout if you like. 
you can ask custom customer information. So for example, like I mentioned before, if you need the phone number, tick that on. If you need shipping address, billing address, a special message for something that you need to ask, well, you can add all of that there. In this case, I'll keep it simple, but I do recommend that you select that in case you are shipping something, okay? So there's also a different type of view for our store. You can play with these. You can change the currency, the enable search or not. Um, in this case, for example, if there's only three products, you don't want to enable search. But if you are, are adding a bunch of products, you will need to enable search because it'll make it easier for your customers. Use decimals or decimal separator, okay? So that is a store I'm able to sell right now. And I'm gonna show you preview my app. So let me click on that, there we go. It's gonna enable this, and it's actually actually a preview of how the app will look, okay? I've had, I haven't edited any colors or logos or anything like that because I'm focusing on building a store, okay? So I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna add to cart, and for example, I can go ahead and add to cart or order right now. If I order this, it's gonna take me to the payment gateway, okay? So let me click add my name, the email, and since this is free, the order passed right away. If this was a payment option, so let me go ahead and add another product to this. I'll order now. Again, I'll just ra add random information. I'll add another email. I'll order it right now. And it takes me to the payment gateway. So it was as easy as that. Let me go back really quickly. Okay. So it was super easy to do that. Now there's options in the store. For example, if you want to favorite this, if you want to add it to cart, add several ones. And there's a bunch of things that you can do with the JotForm Store Builder. Now, right now, as of this point right now, you have added products and you are ready to sell and start earning money. So it's super easy to start your JotForm Store Builder. Now, if you want to share this with your clients, head on over to Publish and you're going to grab this link and you can share it. Now, if you want to tweak the look of your JotForm Store, it's super easy. Like head on over to Settings, change the app name and the icon, the splash screen, and tweak and add the elements as needed. Now, once you've put in orders, well, you received orders, where, am I, where can I view these, okay? Head on over to the top option here, and you're gonna head on over to tables, okay? So in this case, since I'm already in the app and clicked on tables, it's gonna take me to the specific app table. So in this case, we have the order date, the source app, the name, the email. We have all the data right here, like the shipping address, checkbox. In this case, we didn't fill it out with that information, so we don't view it here, but we're able to view it here. So the order item is a free t-shirt and the order was received. Now we have all that option there. We can add more elements to this. So for example, if I needed to send this out, that information to my task manager, I can do so by send data to other apps. I'll go click on next and I'll just say test, okay? And select from one of the apps that you want to send that information to. So you'll get a button to send information to a task manager just in case if you want to do that. So it's super easy to start building your store and start selling right away with JotForm Store. But there you go, that is the video for JotForm Store Builder. If you guys want to check it out, I will be leaving that link in the description and I'll see you guys later.